Lauren? Yes? The vote is ours. <laughs> Lauren and I just bought our new boat. The boat's been sitting for six years. It's in fantastic condition uh, for a boat that's been sitting that long down in Florida. Like any boat, it could use some TLC. There's definitely a little more rot than I thought back in the cockpit area. But the important thing is... The boat is floating. <laughs> and now... We just need to make it to Michigan. Kirk, with the help of his dad, who flew down last minute, is going to tow the boat 1,500 miles up to our property. So what you doing now, Kirk? This is a major problem. A crazy endeavor like this is always a mission. It is monstrous. But as they say, if there's a will, there's a roadway waiting for you. So I did it. I got everything done this morning. I am in the cell phone lot waiting for my father. We got the boat launched this morning. Let's see how this goes. I would call that a success so far. <laughs> I got the trailer over to the yard to get serviced, picked up the jack stands at Peter's house, and got the titles notarized, and I made it with enough time to get here to pick up my dad. Hopefully whenever the Florida uh, trailer supply calls, we can go pick up the trailer, put the boat back on and get it out of the water and out of the way. I'll go pay. Um, you can just turn around. Yeah, I know what it worked out. We got a almost new trailer. <laughs> new leaf springs, new bearings, new wiring. And tonight, we'll get it all ready to start heading north tomorrow morning, first thing bright and early. <laughs> it's been a whirlwind of a week. I am looking forward to getting home safely. Hopefully in 72 hours, I will be pulling into my driveway after an uneventful drive north. But I'm looking forward to the drive with my dad. It'll be a fun time to hang out and chat. Just get some good bonding time in, so. And then after that, a ton of great bonding time on the boat. That can grandpa reporting for duty. Not heave ho, what's it called? <laughs> this is the whole reason we're doing this. There's so many people that we've met in our sailing journey that never got out to sail. And in fact, Peter, the seller of this boat, built this boat, well actually finished it 20 years ago. Started it over 30 years ago. He started it in 1992 is when he bought the plans. Hull number 30 from Farrier. Completed the boat and launched it in 2002. Sailed it maybe a dozen times, decked the thing out to go cruising, and then life got in the way. That's why we're out here doing this, trying to push as hard as we can to go sailing now um, and go sailing with my, my father. Um, I want to have some more awesome sailing experiences with him. That's really one of the main reasons we wanted a boat back up north uh, in the Great Lakes. And with our, our trailerable boat now, we have all sorts of trips planned. We have tons of work. Uh, on this boat planned and this has been a really fun week uh, really really stressful now is hopefully the easy part <laughs> the long slow drive home all right <laughs> hi <laughs> hi so the whole reason we wanted to get new leaf springs was this clearance right here there's like there's none it's rubbing on the tires Peter had the yard put on new tires on this trailer and the tires are too big. I forgot to ask the trailer place if we could not just replace them with like kind, but actually put a heavier duty leaf spring on there. I think we're, we're just compressing them too much. So, about to leave. I see an email pop up on my phone that says insurance cancellation notice. So I purchased insurance four days ago. I made the purchase contingent upon getting insurance because I knew it was gonna be difficult. Progressive said, hey, yeah, we can insure you. I paid my full year in advance, signed all the paperwork. Two days later, they come back and say, we're canceling your insurance. So I write freaked out. <laughs> So we're about to drive 1,200 miles on this boat, on a trailer, and if something happens, I wanna be covered. Luckily, they're not canceling it until August 11th, which is less than a month from now. But I'm just beyond frustrated that I'd go through all of the due diligence before going through with the purchase of the boat. And then, literally the day after I purchased the boat, they can just go and cancel the insurance. 
which is a horrible business model. And I'm just like, I'm beyond livid right now. Um, at least I can make this drive north and I know that I'm covered. We've overcome every last hurdle to get here and I'm gonna overcome this one. It's just, it's so frustrating when things are outside of your control. They're also really equally frustrating when they're inside of your control and you just look back on your decisions and we're like, yep, I could have caught that. I forgot to ask if we could not just replace them with like kind, but in 20, 30 minutes, we're gonna have the boat hooked up behind the truck and we're gonna be heading north, sitting in nice air conditioning. So what you doing now, Kirk? I'm building a bit of a larger fender gap here. That looks pretty good. I gotta zip tie up that. One more. We got six ratchet straps on this guy. I think we did it. We're heading back to Michigan. All right, here we go. Let's try it. Okay. Everything looks the same when we get home. Next uh, career? Make the big bucks, drive the big trucks. <laughs> Had some fun stuff to see. <laughs> we have a boat. I've already seen it. <laughs> I think you could have carried it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I got back a couple hours before Lauren did on Sunday. And so she got to pull up and see the boat sitting in her driveway. And I wish we had the camera out when it happened, but it was almost pitch black. It's real. It's in our yard. It is. It is in our yard. It's here. You drove up from Florida what, so three I, days ago? I got back from Florida, yeah, three yeah. days ago. We haven't done a darn no. thing with this boat, <laughs> but we've walked out onto our front porch and looked at it every single day and said, there's a boat on our property. Yes. Which is so freaking cool. We are not paying for said boat sitting here right now. It's just here waiting We're not for paying us. to store it. We're paying for the yeah. boat. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, we're, we're, it's just sitting there waiting for us to use it. Yeah. It's just so nice. Yeah. So I've been making some calls around. We've got a little bit of work to do. Um, we've got a mooring anchor that's coming in this weekend. And I've got to get the outboard motor off the uh, the back of the boat and into a shop because... It don't work. It don't work. <laughs> and I'm not going to have enough time to deal with it over the next week before we want to get out on the water. Just We're already coming to the end of summer. So we would really love to get the boat in the water as soon as possible to be able to get some use out of it before 
seasons over already. Yeah, yeah. But let's go do a quick boat tour. I love this cockpit already. This is a really cozy seat. We've got some plans though to make this cockpit even better. We're gonna rip out this floor and that is gonna become a new uh, aft cabin with a little extra headroom elevated where these backrests are here. Um, we're actually gonna put the wing seats that we see on some of the newer Corsairs. So then your feet will go down on the deck level here and this will be the new deck level for the uh, that's part of the cockpit. We've got a lot of projects for this boat. Babe, come look at the boat. Okay, you ready? I'm gonna put you right here, okay? Take my hand. Mm -hmm. Sure. Welcome aboard. Why, thank you. Birds, I like this cockpit seat. Yeah? Yeah, this is really nice. Is it good? Yeah. This thing behind you here. This yes. Is, this is a backrest so you can sit up on the Yeah. Homing. And? What are your thoughts on it? Um, it's okay. The The problem is that this is angled, right? It's sloped right. down. Right, yeah, yeah. But when we put seats there, so if our seat is at like this height and then your feet go down there, I think it'll be really nice. Put your nice. feet right here, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You should come and sit in this corner. <laughs> new bench. It's a new bench. It's a new bench. <laughs> it's a new bench. Yeah. All right, you want to see the inside? Yeah. Sit and watch? Yeah. Okay. Mama. Okay. That's Mama. Okay. So, when we come into the cabin, immediately to port, we've got a sink, and we've got a double burner propane grill, or a stove, a little bit of storage down below to starboard. We've got the electric panel. Right now we've got the radio. We've got storage behind everything here. You've got a head over here with a little sink. What you got there, babe? A stick. Do you want to go eat? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Probably get out of the boat. Probably get out of the boat. Then maybe, can we go sailing? Yeah. Okay. Probably. Probably. Just like on our last boat, we plan to replace the flush toilet with a composting head. That'll allow us to remove the large gray water tank underneath the bee berth. The head is pretty big for the size of boat, with lots of storage, too. The bee berth, though not as wide as the tartans, is definitely longer. Of course, we have a little work to do in here to make it a bit more homey. Put some shelves in there. So this is kind of cool. This piece actually hangs up in front of the... Oh, really? And then it makes it look all the same. Oh, wow. I'm trying to figure out how to describe how I feel about this boat. And I think because I haven't spent a ton of time on her, I don't quite know yet. It's definitely been weird because we've talked about buying a boat like this for a long time. And we really settled on a 31 foot trimaran Corsair or Farrier like in the last half year or so. So we knew what kind of boat we were gonna get. We've been on this boat before, not a 9AX tall, but we've been on a 9AX and we've been on a 9A tall, but it has been an absolute whirlwind in the last two weeks. Knowing that the seller of this boat was ready to sell her finally after we've been talking for months and hearing that there were several other interested parties and knowing that we really wanted the boat, but also being worried, what is the boat gonna be like after spending seven years in a boatyard totally untouched? And uh, all of a sudden, I drive back from Wisconsin to Michigan with Renata and we show up here and there's a boat sitting on our property. <laughs> so, it's very cool. It's really, really cool. I'm so, I'm so eager to see what she's gonna feel like on the water because we haven't been on one in the water. 
super, super stoked to explore the Great Lakes. Yeah. That's better. That's better. Both. Okay. Both. Both? Both yeah. cameras? Both cameras. Okay, so what's the plan? We should the have a plan. The bottom's going in there. You think it has to go all the way up there? Yes. Okay. All right, are you taking the bottom? No. Or should I take the bottom? You take the bottom. It doesn't seem like it's that heavy. Really? Yeah. But you said it was 100 pounds. Let me do this. Alright, so what am I doing? Oh. No, okay, I do want you to take it at the bottom because I need help picking it up. This up here? Okay, yep. there we go. Alright, do you have the top? Yep. Okay, cool. Alright, good. Okay. okay, so now we need to put the scooch it in there a little bit. Yep. Okay. We're done. Woo! Oh. Good job, babe! The motor fit in the lily car. Good job! Maybe what's that? Maybe what's that? Yeah. That's just yeah. dirt. That's grease. I gotta take a shower. Mom and Dad, I got dirty. Yeah. Yeah, but That's it's okay. what happens when you work on boats, babe. Yeah, you get dirty. Daddy. All dirty. Perfect. <laughs> yes. All right, hopefully they can, can fix it for five? us. <laughs> she fired me in the spot that wasn't dirty. <laughs> we just took the old motor off. We're gonna bring it into a marine outboard repair shop, and hopefully in a few days, we'll be able to drop the boat in the water. Mm. Bow. Hi, Dada. Hi, baby. But now to climb up. You want to climb up? Yeah. Okay, climb up. Dada. Can you climb up one more step? No. No? What if I, you take my hands? No. Dada's hands dirty. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, because we're going to go put you in the bath. Yeah. Yeah. I've been dreaming about this for quite a while. We just had dinner, spent half an hour working on the boat, and then we get to go take a shower at our own house. Because the boat is right in our front yard. Side yard, property, whatever this thing is. I don't know what this area is. <laughs> That's our boat. That's our boat. That's our boat? Yeah. I'm super excited for all the projects we have in store. Mm -hmm. The boat's on land right now, but boats are supposed to be in the water. So we have to build our own mooring. This is our new anchor. We don't know exactly what we're gonna need, so we're just bringing all sorts of crazy stuff. How exactly are we gonna get this into the seabed? Mm -hmm. 